What is the most genius way to cheat on an exam you have ever seen? The best place to hide things is right in plain sight. We had old desks that had all sorts of wear on them, so I simply wrote what I needed on my desk really really lightly with a pencil. You could even erase it with a swipe of your hand if the teacher thought something was up. This is the opposite of what the OP asks, but I found it hilarious, so I'll share. I'm taking a CCNA course at a tech college. All the exams are taken from the online course. No surprise, the answers are available online on different websites. One student in my class decided to print out these answers. Except he printed them to the instructor's printer. I forgot to write a huge paper in college so I wrote just one page and printed it 20 times. I handed it in and over the weekend finished the assignment. The next week the professor asked what happened and I said it must have been a mistake with the printer. He said that's alright, just print him out the full thing and bring it next class. I got an extra week with no penalty. Had a buddy take an online course. Wrote to the company that did the book materials for the course saying he was a professor and wanted to use their materials for the course. They sent him all the answers and such. Brilliant. I was very very bad at chemistry in senior year but I needed to pass the final to get the class credit in order to graduate. So the day of the test I wore a very low cut top with a zip up hoodie over it. I wrote down all the formulas from the study guide onto my cleavage, zipped the hoodie up, and just looked down at my boobs under the hoodie during the test for all the answers. I figured, I had nothing to get caught cheating with unless they demanded to see my cleavage, but that would never happen because I'm pretty sure they wouldn't want to get sued. I passed the final, got the credit, and graduated. That's why they make a strip naked at my school. Yeah, this reminds me of PP check day at school. I had a midterm and then a final in air photo analysis, part of my geography units, a course with about 20 mathematical formulae you were expected to recall as needed. I took a clear Bic pen and scratched them into the surface with a new Zacto blade, it was virtually invisible, and rolling my pen in my fingers, looking for a formula. Looked like entirely natural mulling over a question, I also kept an unmarked duplicate in case the invigilator went for a stroll around the room, low tech, but it was a lot of years ago. Teacher told me this one. This kid was one of those kids who hardly showed up to class, so it was a surprise he showed up for the final. The kid asked to put down the window at the beginning of class because it was warm in the room, so my professor let him. The kid scribbled on his paper for 30 minutes and then asked to go to the bathroom, which my professor allowed. The kid came back and finished the test and then left. The twist in all of this? The kid had dropped a copy of the test out of the window to his friend down below, who went to the lounge and took the exam. They then met up in the bathroom and the kid took the test from his friend and went back to class, wrote his name on it and then turned it in. The only fault in this plan was that another professor happened to be looking in that direction as soon as the test was dropped out of the window, and proceeded to foil the whole plan. Buddy of mine did this, but he hadn't really planned it through. He used a bathroom break to get his test to another buddy but the teachers would become suspicious, if he would take another bathroom break to get the test back. His solution was to injure his hand with the compasses, smear some blood over his face and tell the teacher he got a nosebleed. He was allowed to leave again and the whole thing worked out. I think this isn't exactly cheating, but all the answers were on the test. Somehow I was the only one who figured it out. High school biology test, 10 questions and all multiple choice. I knew the answer for 6 questions, so as I was trying to figure out the other questions something come to my attention, all the alternatives were like this format. All the correct answers had a dot at the end of the sentence. Sounds like the correct answers were just copy-pasted into the test, while the other options were made up and the teacher didn't put periods at the end. Maybe? Yeah I had one in college where the font was different. I think they copy-pasted the correct answers and didn't realize the font difference. Paste without formatting. Back in 99 or so when scientific calculators were newish, I think, I got my own rather than use the school ones. They would check our pockets and our stuff to make sure we didn't have a cheat sheet. They would check our calculators to make sure we didn't have anything written. However I had a cheat sheet on paper, on the inside of the calculator's cover which fit behind. So I showed my screen and that it was blank but no one removed the lid. So I had to slide up the lid about an inch, and had written everything down as tiny as I could. Cheated and got away with it. 
Considering I never got caught I'd say it was part genius and part luck but very risky. This was in 5th grade and I had a teacher who clearly favored me. She told me that if I got a 100% on a test, she'd give me a jelly donut. This particular test was memorizing all of the state's capitals. So I studied really hard because I had never had a jelly donut. The day of test came and I got most of the capitals except for one. I waited there for a bit hoping that I'd remember and then the bell rang. However this wasn't any bell but in fact the fire bell because we had a fire drill, bad planning on the teacher's end to have a test when they knew a fire drill was going to be that day. So as we were walking to the field I kept trying to remember that one capital but I just couldn't. As we were walking back from the field I realized this was my only chance so one asked a random kid, what's the capital of Virginia, if my memory is any good. I asked it in a sudden way so the kid's first reaction was to blurt out the answer, which they did, yes no it's Richmond. A few seconds later I heard them in the yell, hey wait a minute, but I was long gone. For some reason the kid never told anyone, probably because they didn't care enough. I got a 100% and my jelly donut. And nobody has ever known until now. And yes it was a good jelly donut. T-L-D-R, doesn't matter got a jelly donut. Edit, yes I know it's Richmond but doesn't matter because I got a jelly donut. If you have made it this far, comment Egyptian Onion down below. Feel free to leave a like and comment and to subscribe and hit the bell button. See you all in the next video.